fourth and final member of the RPM TV long-term test fleet, is also one of the most exciting and most controversial cars in our garage. I have to say, I haven't come across a car that polarizes opinion as much as the Mini Coupe JCW, but it's certainly also the most rewarding Mini I've ever driven. Maybe that little JCW badge has something to do with it. JCW is short for John Cooper Works, and it's a badge that's only applied to the most muscular members of the Mini Clan. In addition to an uprated power plant, the JCW also gets stiffer springs, a lower suspension, and some aerodynamic aids, all aimed at optimizing overall dynamics. You'd be forgiven for believing that the Mini Coupe is smaller than the standard Mini, but in fact, you'd be wrong because all the key dimensions, length, width, and wheelbase, are exactly the same as your common or garden Mini. However, what is different is the height. This car is more than 50 millimeters lower than a Mini, and of course, the roof looks completely different as well. The spice orange metallic color scheme offset by a black roof, contrasting stripes and black 17-inch cross-spoke wheels ensure that the RPM TV long-termer is a particularly arresting expression of the mini styling art. It's certainly an extrovert machine, with the JCW body kit adding an even more aggressive look. The lowered suspension, together with the body-colored bumpers, big bore exhausts and that pronounced roof spoiler, all create a look that's unmistakably mini, but with a certain air of almost unexpected menace. The interior continues the performance theme. In many respects, the cabin of the Mini Coupe is a lot more honest than that of the normal Mini. Sure, it only has space for two, but at least those two occupants are ensconced in comfort and luxury. These Recaro bucket seats are a 15,000 Rand option, but they do keep you perfectly in place when you're tackling the twisties. The JCW identity does nothing to address the idiosyncrasies of a smart and monochromatic cabin that mixes advanced tech with mostly gratuitous retro. In practice, it's the excellent seats, the grippy steering wheel and the rev counter it frames that matter most in ergonomic terms, affording a close rapport between car and driver. Those aviation-inspired rocker switches work a treat too, as does the iDrive control interface. The boot is a lot more generous than one would expect, but there's no spare wheel since the Mini relies on run-flat tyres and an inflation kit to address roadside punctures. As for PEP, this Mini isn't short of muscle. Anybody who's experienced the firepower of the Mini Coupe JCW will find it hard to believe that the engine under the bonnet is a mere 1600cc unit. But of course, this isn't just any old engine. It's a turbocharged unit. It uses valve tronic variable valve control, and it delivers 155 kilowatts of maximum power together with a torque peak of 260 newton meters. And in fact, it'll do 280 newton meters on overboost for short bursts. Despite that small capacity, the twin scroll turbo layout and some clever engine mapping provides real shove from very low engine revs and there's almost no sign of turbo lag. The beefed up brakes really come into their own in a track environment where their ability to offer fade free and progressive braking is a big confidence booster. The only disappointment is a steering that isn't nearly as communicative as a sporty car like this deserves thanks to its electric power assistance. Still, the lively chassis does make up for it. On the move, the Mini Coupe feels a lot cleaner, a lot sharper than a normal Mini. It's as if the turn-in is just that little bit crisper. And there's a lot of mid-range shove all the way through the rev range with almost no turbo lag. Of course, this is the fastest Mini of the bunch. With a 0 to 100 time of 6.4 seconds and a 240 km an hour top speed, the Coupe JCW is no slouch. The biggest limiting factor is the front-wheel drive configuration and the absence of a limited slip diff, so that the danger of inducing wheel spin when booting the JCW out of a corner is ever-present. Coming off the gas will lighten the rear and tighten the line, but the Mini's road manners remain benign and predictable even when all the driver aids are switched off. At face value, the Mini Coupe JCW appears to be a bit of a toy. Good for a breakfast run or a blast around the track, but hardly suited to the daily commute. Well, we've got 12 months to find out what it's like living with this car, and the early indications are that the Mini won't have too much of a problem making friends with the RPM TV team.
small doesn't have to be slow, as this turbo 1600 engine proves it delivers plenty of clout, ensuring that the coupe JCW easily lives up to its performance aspirations. The styling is certainly original, if not everybody's cup of tea, but the package is distinctive and entertaining. You'll need to watch the fuel consumption, though, when driving with intent.